The desire to improve our world is enduring, and innovation is a deeply ingrained human trait. Economists and policymakers worry about how much economies invest in new ideas. In our latest edition of WIPO's World Intellectual Property Report, we ask an equally important question. What is the direction of innovation? This is the sum of all the decisions individuals, firms, universities and governments make on which technological opportunities to pursue at any one time. The allocation of human and financial resources to different innovation activities can set the direction of innovation of communities, countries and even the world for decades to come. Over the past 100 years, we have seen major innovation inflection points accentuating different technological avenues. Technologies related with combustion engines, transport and other mechanical machines dominated the innovation landscape in the early decades of the past century. Biopharma technologies boom thanks to pharmaceuticals since the 1930s and once again to advances in genetic research since the 1990s. Since the last decade of the past century, there was a big shift towards information and communication technologies, the ICTs, based on semiconductors and computers. The future direction of innovation is at a crossroads now, with a new wave of digitalization changing the world once again. Growth is exploding in digital technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud computing, big data, Internet of Things, robotics, and autonomous systems. These digital general purpose technologies are creating new industries and transforming old ones by bringing in new innovators, structures, practices, and values. Digital innovation can spur economic growth by complementing and enhancing human productivity. But they will make certain occupations obsolete and give rise to new ones requiring different sets of skills. This new digital era would not be possible without the innovations in space technology spurred by governments since the 1950s. The direction of innovation is not single-handedly decided, but the result of multiple private and public decisions. Companies seize innovation opportunities more quickly, but they are also drawn to short-term and less risky projects. Yet, Longer-term opportunities that are riskier frequently hold the largest potential for positive social returns. The development of the space industry was only possible thanks to government funding. However, more recently, private companies have begun to invest in and rely heavily on space systems. Public-private partnership is vital. Public and private motivations to innovate are not necessarily aligned, but they can both be leveraged for the common good. Innovations can have a transformative effect, for better or for worse, on the environment, public health and local communities, to name a few examples. The development of COVID-19 vaccines has illustrated this vividly. In the report, we estimate the social benefit of these vaccines to amount to 70.5 trillion US dollars globally, almost as large as the world's economic output. The large social benefit reflects the value of saved lives, avoided health impairments, and the lifting of lockdown measures, which is far greater than the revenue generated by vaccine manufacturers. Technologies tailored to local development are needed. Developing economies rely on innovation to address their specific socio-economic needs. The ability to generate new technological solutions or adapt foreign ones depends on their local innovation ecosystems and how connected they are to global innovation networks. Some economies have been able to leverage their scientific capacity, technological capital and skilled labor to narrow the technological gap between them and the most advanced economies. This is the case of the ICT industry in many East Asian economies, which managed to fully integrate into the global economy as core and active participants in international value chains. The road to the future is uncertain, but tomorrow's innovation pathways need a considered construction right now. 
amid the growth of common challenges like climate change, deepening commitments to sustainability at public, private, and even consumer levels is changing how business conduct their activities. By using targeted policies, governments are helping mitigate some of the risks associated with investing in new alternative energy technologies. As a result, innovation in low carbon emission technologies, especially in the energy sector, has been growing in the past two decades. Yet, this might not be enough for addressing climate change. The perception of the risks associated with global warming changes gradually. Private companies may not have enough economic incentives to sufficiently invest in developing clean technologies. Local and national governments are not be able to solve this global challenge without a multi-stakeholder and international coordination. Innovation is inevitable. Its direction is not. The choices we make now will determine the course of the future.